Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Daigen Sani here and welcome back to my Genshin Impact Character Showcase series where I break down character skills, passives, constellations, and build recommendations. If you want to see more guides, keep up with the latest news, and be part of the engaging discussions, then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel while also turning on those notifications so you can keep up with everything Genshin Impact. In today's video, we'll be covering Barbara, the shining idol of the Favonius Church. Barbara is a Hydro Catalyst healer that excels as a healer support. Her basic attack is Whisperer of Water, which performs up to four splash attacks that deal Hydro damage. Her charge attack consumes a bit of stamina while also dealing AoE Hydro damage after casting. Her elemental skill is Let the Show Begin, which summons musical note water droplets around your character while dealing Hydro damage to enemies. This elemental skill has the unique effect of applying wet status to you and your allies, as Barbara can be swapped out while the skill is active. This unique attribute can also apply this wet status to enemies you come in contact with. Because the skill stays out when swapped, this allows you to set up creative elemental reaction combinations to turn the tide of battle. However, be warned that this added benefit does come at a cost of being a double-edged sword as enemies can react off your wet status as well. While Let the Show Begin is active, Barbara Normal Attacks will also have the ability to heal party members and nearby allies within co-op, which scales off her max HP. Her charge attack will generate four times the amount of healing as well. If Barbara is swapped out, the character within the elemental skill will regenerate a certain amount of HP in intervals that also scales off Barbara's max HP. Through Barbara's passive, Glorious Season, she reduced swapped in ally stamina consumption by 12% while her elemental skill is active. Her final combat passive is Encore, which allows her elemental skill, Let the Show Begin, to be extended by one second by allies who receive elemental orbs when they use their own elemental skills. This method of extension can only happen up to five times per duration of Barbara's elemental skill. Barbara's Elemental Burst, Shining Miracle, heals party members and co-op allies for a large amount that indeed also scales of Barbara's max HP. Keep in mind, this skill does not deal any damage, but the animation does last long enough to get you enough invincibility to get out of sticky situations and avoid possible death. Barbara's final passive, With My Whole Heart, allows her to gain a 12% chance to obtain double the product when you are cooking dishes with restorative effects. Through obtaining multiple copies of the same character, you obtain an item known as Stella Fortuna, which allows you to further enhance your character's abilities through their constellations. Barbara's first constellation is Gleetful Song, which regenerates one energy for Barbara passively every 10 seconds. Vitality Burst is her second constellation, which decreased the cooldown of her elemental skill, Let the Show Begin, by 15%. Barbara's third constellation is Starve Tomorrow, which increases the skill level of her elemental burst, Shining Miracle, by three levels. Attentiveness Be My Power is Barbara's fourth constellation, which allows Barbara to regenerate one energy for every enemy she hits with their charge attack, up to a maximum of five energy per charge attack. Barbara's fifth constellation is the Peer's Companionship, which is very similar to her third constellation, giving her three level upgrades to her elemental skill, Let the Show Begin, this time around. Barbara's final constellation is dedicating everything to you, which allows Barbara to revive a fallen ally to 100% HP when Barbara is not on the field. This effect can occur once every 15 minutes. Because Barbara is a supportive healer that scales off HP, giving her thrilling tales of dragon slayers as her early game weapon of choice is a great idea. This will give you a boost in healing ability due to the substat of HP while also giving her more support abilities in the weapon skill. At refinement rank 1, this will give you a 24% attack boost to the character you switch to for 10 seconds that can occur every 20 seconds. At max refinements, this attack percent will be doubled to 48%. For early game artifact sets, the exile set will be a great choice to give her an extra boost in her already exceptional energy recharge kit. This will increase her energy recharge by 20% while also giving her more utility with the 4 piece set bonus of regenerating 2 energy for the rest of the party every 2 seconds for
for 6 seconds. If you rather have her utility further increase your team's damage, then equipping her with an instructor set for early to mid game will be your go-to. As for a 4 piece set bonus, this will increase all party members elemental mastery by 120 for 8 seconds. After she uses her elemental skill, let the show begin. Barbara is a nice addition to any team that needs some extra help staying alive. As your support utility through her usable weapons and artifact sets, or just simply need access to a Hydro character. Then Barbara, who is still free until the launch of 1.1, will be your shining idol, Guardian of Hope. Anyway, that's it for the Barbara Showcase. Let me know down in the comments below on which 4 star character you want me to cover next to help you understand more about your favorite heroes within Genshin Impact. Or, let me know if there's a category or subject within these showcases that you would like to see me further go into detail for. As always, if you like anything I had to say, drop me a like I greatly appreciate it. And if you want to hear more from me, follow me on my socials. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you know the next video goes live. As always, my name is Daikin and I'll see you next time. Signing out.